Captain Broccoli. Oh no. What is wrong? Oh thank God. Panda face. I thought you were Z. She is always. What? What are you talking about? I, I am Z. I am a superhero. Why on earth are you dressed like that? Did you push over Panda Face? I'm just borrowing Panda Face's costume because I was bored. You're not trying to avoid me, are you? Well... Captain Broccoli, tell me everything about secondary dominance. Secondary dominance are chromatically altered cores which tonicize major and minor diatonic triads. Those are not real words. Let me try again. If you are in the key of G major, a G major triad is the tonic, and a D major triad is its dominant. Yes, those are words I know. In G major, the two chord is. I know this. The two chord is the supertonic. It is a minor triad. I am just like a minor triad because I am thin. Good for you. This supertonic is an A minor triad. However, in its home key, A minor is the tonic and has its own dominant chord, an E major triad. Sure. Back in the key of G major, however, the diatonic triad built on E is the minor six chord, the submediant. It is not the dominant of A. That is very sad. The supertonic is special. It should have its own dominant. All right. If you want to make the supertonic feel special, we can borrow the dominant from its home key. This is a secondary dominant. Yes, I like that. Because it is an A major triad, it is not diatonic in the key of G major. It is a chromatic chord. It contains the pitch G sharp, which of course is not in a G scale. That must make the tonic upset. I hate it when my G string gets sharp. I did not need to know that. Scale degrees don't have feelings, but it does temporarily disrupt the tonic. A secondary dominant makes its partner temporarily sound like a tonic. That is tonicization. Still not a real word. But how do I know which note gets sharpened? They are not always sharps, but it is often the third of the secondary dominant that is the altered tone. It is usually the leading tone from the other scale. G sharp, for example, is the leading tone in A minor. I am very excited about using secondhand dominance. But how do I know which note gets sharpened? Again, they are still not always sharps. You spell them the same way they appear in the borrowed key. Who do I borrow the key from? From whom? What? Whom? Who? Never mind. Pretend each key is a planet. Then it would be too big to fit in a lock. No, I mean imagine we are on the planet G major. On this planet, all A minor triads are supertonics. There are other planets, however, where things are different. Ah yes, like the planet of the apes. Please listen to me. Not everything is a movie. I meant planets where triads have different functions. A minor has its own planet where it functions as the tonic and has its own dominant chord. Yes, that is what I said. It is just like the planet of the apes. Everything is reversed. Apes are in charge and people are animals. Actually, you have the right idea. It is somewhat like that. I am very clever, like Dr. Zira. We are both Zs, but she has more hair and is not a superhero. So if you go to the key of A minor, you can find out how the dominant chord is spelled there with so, T, and Re, and then bring that chord back with you to the key of G major to spell the secondary dominant of the supertonic. Yes. I understand now. I fly to the planet of the A's, go to Dr. Zira, and say take me to your leader tone. I guess that is progress. But Captain Broccoli, what do I do with the secondary dominant once I get back? That is a good question.